Hi there, my name is Candy Holland and I'm the Creative Director for Merlin's Resort Theme Parks. I'm just going to give you a quick update regarding the creative development behind a fantastic new ride at Gardaland called Raptor. Um, working very closely with a whole team of people, everything from my creative project designers back at the studios in London, through to many architects, obviously B&M, the ride supplier, etc. Um, we really developed this amazing attraction um, right from the very early concept which involves image boards, research etc. all the way through to, through to detailed design and implementation on site. Now one of the first stages was to really try and understand exactly what, what you, our guests, would really like. And we know that Gardaland is all about fantasy. So that's one of the reasons why we wanted to create this epic ride vehicle which is uh, very much all about a creature that has been unearthed from the ground. Um, but linked with that we wanted to build in a sense of reality and also a sense of danger um, and all about trespassing to areas that you're not allowed to go to. So in developing the, the area, the site, it was very important to get an element of being below ground and this creature emo emerging up above the ground and just flying devastating the, the environment as it goes around. For example, the ride vehicle, which is suspended out either side of the track, nothing below you, nothing above you, totally exposed. We developed this very closely with, with B&M to really make a stunning, unique ride vehicle, um, the Raptor, which picks you up and hurtles you about the site. Working very closely, all the details, the colouring, etc., absolutely critical. Working with specialists, theming con contractors, etc., um, to, uh, to really bring this creature to life. Um, the other thing that's really important is the landscape, the environment for this creature. Um, very natural, lots of swamps hurtling through the trees, lots of near misses. But linked in with the story is the whole sense of the authorities coming along trying to capture this creature. So hence we've got quite an industrial style linked in with it. Um, lots of concrete, steel, um, very much a matter of trying to contain and restrain this beast. So for example we have entrance features, um, very imposing, guard and try and prevent people from, from entering the area. Um, the building itself um, including in with this whole site as a whole series of near-miss features as though the creature has hurtled and smashed its way through the, through the environment. Um, likewise, bridges over the swamp lake, part of the ride actually hurtles through a fog curtain underneath the, uh, underneath the bridge, but then likewise does a barrel roll and spins over the top of you as well. As well. So it's a very immersive, very involving experience where you just really don't know where to look. And then linked in with that we have other th features like a very imposing watchtower where again the creature has smashed its way straight through the middle and likewise a giant tree where it's literally split in half and burnt it to, to pieces um, in, its, in its flight as it drags you through, through the environment. It's absolutely going to be a stunning ride um, and you know, we're really looking forward to you all coming along April the 1st, being here, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Thank you.